Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got us a special edition, special. We had to meet Ooh. special just to film this Compass Box Phenomenology. Not a normal film time, and you might be able to tell. We wanted to bring it to you early. Let's test it. Test it! Because we like Compass Box. <laughs> Boom, we're in. First of all, again, we've got a box that is a work of art and it's popped out a little bit. I can feel, feel this guy's nose mm -hmm. right there. I'm not nice. really picking it, but you can feel the divot. Is it a divot? Uh, I don't know what a divot, divot? is. What's a net? It's divot? not even a divot. I just made up a new word called divot. That's like a golf, even a golfing term. <laughs> yeah, that would, well, that's a divot. Divot. But I called it a divot. Wow. Once again, the artwork on this is phenomenal. you got gold so, dripping off fingers, floating eyeballs, smoke coming out of a weird thing, a lady working in for, a field. Uh, for those that don't know yet, Compass Box is a blended whiskey. Yeah. John Glazer founded, started, owns Compass Whiskey Box. maker. It whiskey says maker. On there. Yeah, artisan. Artisan whiskey maker. He needs really to add that on to the to the extreme. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's taken his marketing, his labeling the whiskey itself, everything to a high level. The bad boy so, of blended whiskey, blended scotch. Mm -hmm. The bad boy. Yeah. But, I mean, he does blended grains, blended malts. Right. He does sherry. He does just bourbon casking. He does peated. He what does. He tries it all. What's that? That's a the hand. Yeah. Does not With eyeballs. In Mr. Hand. It. What movie is that from? I don't know. Um. Mm. Now. Okay. Usually at least once a year, once a year, uh, Compass Box releases some special editions. They've got their core range, Asyla, Oak Cross, Spice Tree, Heat Monster, Great Glasgow, King Street. Right. Um, and now they want a Glasgow deal? Hedonism. Yeah. Got it. Uh, Gla Great King Street, Glasgow Blend. Got it. Right. Um, and then once a year or so, he comes out with a special edition, limited edition type run. He's come out with No Name and Phenomenology at the same time now. We have both uh, No Name look for uh, next Saturday with our 400th review. This is, we, we convened special. We wanted to get this one up before anybody else. And did. we're not even numbering this one at this time. No. It's to we be numbered to. later. Yeah. Now, but I am speaking, using coin uh, 133, speaking uh, of numbers. I've got 134. Now, speaking of us numbering our episode later, I believe there's something that's coming out later with this as well from Compass Box. What is it? Well, okay, so no, John Glazer, no name, yeah. is the peatiest whiskey that they've made. Right. At the same time, they come out with phenomenology. Now, John says... John, I like his... Like we Mr. Glazer. <laughs> he, Sir Glazer. He says, we're not going to release anything about this whiskey. On phenomenology. Nothing. Nothing's out there in a while. We don't know what whiskeys are in here. And, and Compass Box is real good. They want to tell you everything that's right. in their whiskeys. Every, the ages. The percentage breakdown. The percentage, the you got to contact them. You got to contact yeah. them. Yeah. They don't just post it. You got to contact them. And if you ask, they'll tell you. Well, uh, Compass Box has been in trouble a couple of times with the Scotch Whiskey Bad Association. boys of blends. Yeah. The first time was with the spice tree when uh, they added extra wood staves. Staves just threw the, them in there, just chucked the, them in the barrel to the casks to help it age and to add some some spice flavors. Non traditional. And the Scotch Whiskey Association said you can't do that. Right. It's untraditional. Right. You can't add stuff. Yeah. Um, and then he got in trouble, and I forget which two it was. I want to say it was the circus and. Circus. um enlightenment because he put it all on the bottle everything he, that was in there. well in the in, right. he put it out on the web everything oh. the ages the percentages yeah and he got in trouble with swa again because too much the only age you can advertise with a blend of right. whiskey youngest is the youngest whiskey right. used. he said but i'm putting it all on there he said i want to tell it all yeah. all of it so they're like nope nope we got laws and rules yeah. so he started the, the trans boy. he started the transparency campaign Ooh. And then shut that down. And they actually got some changes, which is where if you if you as a person contact Compass Box, they can then release to you, not in a media sense, but to a private person, right. the makeup of their whiskeys. So he did get that change. But he still can't advertise or put on the label 
Got it. the makeup of the whiskey. So with phenomenology, he said, we're not going to release anything this? with this. Open it. We have not cracked this open yet. Yeah, we're going to, we're, we're going in totally blind. We haven't pre-tasted this beautiful golden wax seal. So we're breaking it in right now. Now this is a limited Let's bottling pour. also. Uh, 7,000 bottles somewhere on here it says. Take a look, it's open, so don't. 7,908 bottles. Ooh. So, and you can go to the Compass Box website, you can pull up a, uh, a fact sheet for each of their whiskeys. And on their flavor descriptors for this one, well, they have, we're keeping this to ourselves for now mm. to encourage drinkers to experience this whiskey without preconception and to first describe the phenomena of the liquid for themselves in their own words and ideas. Mm. So we don't know. Was this it was a sherry? Is it peated? Is it bourbon cast? Is it grain? Is it malt? We don't know. It looks light. You could pour more. I'm not sure. With the I have a, a narrower glass, so it looks like I poured you less. And we've got uh, 46% ABV. Huh. I get tropical. Light, light. Maybe, maybe slight. Okay. Kind of slight, slight but I almost said like, it, like a hint of. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking, am I nuts? And no. then when you said uh -huh. slight, I thought that comes yeah, definitely. Which leads me to believe probably. Hmm. You're better on that than me. I just want like a, a like well, a, a big thing of peat moss to slap me in the face. <laughs> th this is definitely not all. It's not very much, and it, it's not coming through in the color of the whiskey at all. Mm. I get, you know, I've heard people describe before, and this mm -hmm. is the first time I think I'm actually getting a little bit of a, it's like cubed, well, on the nose, cubed. I'm almost thinking more aged. Huh. Okay. And but I think it says and blended and malt, doesn't it? Oh, it does it say, says, yeah, it, it does says say blended, blended malt. malt. Yeah, it's the one thing that is on here is blended malt scotch whiskey. So that's interesting. Kind of actually, and it reminds me a well of like more try. Go. Drink. Go ahead. Still what gets me. Hmm. Wow. I mean, it's all, ooh. Mm. You know what? I got a little. Yeah. With all that. I don't know. It is, I mean, there's definitely, this is the, uh, the, that creamy. I get a toastedness. Mm -hmm. toasted. Yeah, toasted. Yeah. A Rise warming, of the slight. Warming palate. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. Very great mouthfeel. This comes off to me more aged. I'm sure there's some older whiskeys in there. I get like a little bit of a grain note, not a yep. grain, but like of the of well, a malted barley flavor coming through. Hmm. Hmm. Still clean and crisp. ABV, 46%. Wow, does Juicy. it come in smooth? I'm trying to remember what distillery it is we've had. There's, it's, I'm pretty sure it was a hot. Mm. Mm. That's just, well, I'm just disagreeing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> come on. Um, uh, wow. Yeah. Again, mm. your note was dead on. Well, you, you spot on hit the overall 
palette pick. It's, the thing is, with this, it was so easy. It's so in your face. Mm. Well, I can you, see why he won't release anything on. Yeah. Because he really wants you to dive in. Even you and I got some slightly different things going on. Mm. Like, I completely disagreed with the one. But not saying you're wrong. Sure. Just sure. saying, you know, it is. It is what it is. Great, a great job. Uh, and I like it. I, I'm going to tell you, this is, uh, I'm not going to pin down a score on it, low 90s. It's delicious. <laughs> Whoa. I thought you'd be higher, and I inhaled, right, as you said that. You're not going to pin down a score just because we went in so I'll spend some. Now, you know, say we take a look at this. Maybe we do a follow up. <laughs> follow when I can spend possible. some more time with it. True. And, All right, yeah. we'll spend but more time. Definitely. Uh, however, ladies. apparently, if you were to air boldly. <laughs> wow. I just got another little nice little finish in there. Hmm. Now, let's hit um, Is It Worth It, though. Okay. Real quick. Now, so, I know um, 170, 180. How many bottles? 7908. Yeah. 7,908. Okay, for Chupacabra agrees. For the rarity, sure. Ooh, I mean, there's not that many out there. That is so rich. Um, great flavor. <laughs> what? I was going to say, does it disappoint? No. No, absolutely not. Now, Compass Box, I mean, I, if you buy this and you taste it, not knowing what the flavor profile is, you come in, we didn't know. We come in, we cracked it open right here. I'm not disappointed at all. I love it. I think it's great. It's good. Um, it's and I would old. not be disappointed. I think it's worth it. I wouldn't be dis I'm not disappointed in the purchase at all. No. Sir John is bold not putting any info out on it at all. And the only thing I'd done different this time. I'd done different. Is I bought two. Are you going to correct me? Did. I bought two, so I got one to keep. <laughs> Most time I just buy one. <laughs> <laughs> you, well, so, you're trying not to because I can't get you to open the circus. Right. You only have well, that's, one. That's the reason I will have one to open. Right. Keep. Yeah, you've got a bit of the collector. Mm. Not that I, I don't, don't. I don't regret buying this one or the backup bottle at that price. Sure. Yeah. Just put them in a, like a double bag when you go into your driveway, though. I want to mm -hmm. see them and then cradled and maybe bubble wrapped. So... All right, and uh, just a teaser, we also bought the No Name, which we'll also be reviewing as our 400th episode. Right. So we're going to do that. We always try to do a special bottle at our 400th, so we're going to do the No Name, which is a peep, baby. Peep. We, we literally wanted to be the first to market on YouTube with the first review of Phenomenology, <laughs> and you got it right there. Because we, we care about being first. Yep. That way you get the info from us. That's right. <laughs> scotch it, you scotch gods. 133. Cilantro. Dummies.